So I got all everything uh, defensive end, uh, Michigan stud, Aiden Hutchinson on the line here. And we were just joking. I was like, I've been there before, but I didn't have to deal with a playoff too on top of that. How are you handling all this juggling, all this action? And it's happened pretty fast, huh? Yeah, it's, it's, it's just absolute craziness. You know, it was like when we beat Ohio State, I mean, things just went crazy, you know, with me and everything and with our team, you know, got to start prepping for a championship. You know, we win that one and now we're in the playoffs yeah. and now, you know, we're moving on to bigger and better things and things I've never seen before. You know, I got a lot of stuff going on right now, but it's all exciting stuff. It's all fun. And, um, you know, towards my career. So I'm all in and, um, you know, I, I'm just, I'm ready to go and I'm ready to, uh, I can't wait for New Year's Eve to come so we can play Georgia. What did you do like this year? I mean, because you used to play inside more, um, right? I mean, like you, you rushed inside a little bit more. You, you had more edge, uh, edge time this year. And I don't know, I'm yep. watching you play. I'm thinking, who's this guy's coach? Because like not taking anything away from you, the player, it takes a lot to, to perform like you perform, but I know you're well coached. So like, Oh yeah. What has been that process for you in transitioning from, you know, a guy that that plays a lot inside to a guy that like this is a guy we need on the edge, as many third downs as we can get him, uh, and I'm sure at the next level nobody's going to be like, hey, let's shove this guy in a three technique. Yeah, right, right. Kind of uh, my first three years, I had a different defensive coordinator um, yeah. for the for uh, well, I had the same defensive coordinator, but um, for those three years, and um, he let he put me on the inside sometimes. And then, uh, you know, my senior year, uh, we get a new, we get a new coaching staff. We get Mike McDonald. He was the linebackers coach at the Ravens. Mm -hmm. And so he comes in, implements the Ravens scheme, kind of, kind of like the Ravens scheme in our defense. And, um, it allowed me to stand up on the edge. And I mean, it just feels so right. And it, it feels does, so it good. Does, it does it, feel it, right. It standing up. So it feels so right. I, I couldn't do spring ball because of the ankle, but yeah. in fall camp I was doing, I was like, God, I can see everything. You know, the cadences in, in college football are not too complicated. So you can really get a good jump on a majority of the plays. And so it's, it's just it's so many things. And I, I was, I was just falling in love with the defense, falling in love with my yeah. role and the freedom that, that, you know, that my, uh, my coordinator gives me. But you're right, that standing up thing, like I started doing it late in my career because I had like I had yeah. coaches early that were like, no, you need to be in a three-point stance. Who are the fa the fastest people in the world to get in a three-point stance? So I said, the fastest people on a football field, they stand up before the play. <laughs> That's right. That's right. <laughs> so, so I need to stand up. And, and when I got older, I noticed the things that you're talking about. I mean, I knew that, you know, young in the league, but having the latitude to, hey, I can see some of the quarterback mechanics. I can see huh. the back shift. You know, like there's things oh, that I can't tackle see. Tackle stances, when you're in that three point, you can't, you can't see anything for the yeah. most part. Yeah, the play it's clock, hard. the play clock. Oh, the, the, play, the, the play clock is the most important part. You see that thing getting down to five. I'm going like, on the next head bob, buddy. <laughs> I'm, I'm going. You know what I mean? I'm gone. <laughs> so right. you were standing up the one play that's gone viral where you put uh, your, your Buckeye friend in an invisible recliner, who's a good player and everything, but you know, you got him that play. What are you saying before that play? Cause I know you're motioning to somebody. I don't know if you're saying like, you know, come chip me motherfucker. What are you saying yeah. uh, before that play? That's the one thing I'm wondering. Yeah. You know, we were getting late in the game that they kind of had a long drive and I'm getting a little pissed off. You know, you're on the field for a while. And it's fourth down, and I see that that center point to me, like they're sending the slide to me, and I'm Bring like, slide. "Let's go, bitch! S <laughs> send it all at me! I w I want it all!" And um, and on that play, we had an edge pressure with one of the safeties, so my my job was just to it's called a heels charge. You just run through that yep. dude's face, yep. and you gotta take it the inside if if you know you get stopped. So I took my I took my lane. And, um, man, that was probably the coolest thing I've ever done in my life. <laughs> <laughs> I, I, don't, I, don't think, I don't think anything will ever top that me waving him over yeah. and then putting him on his ass. You looked pretty cool it. there, man. I got to hand it to you. That, that'll that shoot <laughs> you up. You. I said, like, and you're a great player, and so, like, you're going to be a top five pick no matter what. But I remember when Jadavian Clowney, he exploded a sled and he blew up the guy from Michigan. He blew up the Michigan right. running back. Like, that was yeah. your play. 
Like yeah, that, that, his was play was the Outback Bowl. That play was you against Ohio State, and I could feel all the hatred in that bull rush. Oh yeah. And yeah. I've I've run plenty of 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 pressures like that where your job is to eat the tackle and free oh, yeah. up the edge guy, and you're yep. supposed to just go through the motions, but it ends up being a centerpiece play for you. So good on That's you. Right. I'm from Michigan, born and raised. I was born and raised a Michigan fan. Uh, my whole life, I've been going to those Ohio State games, so. It, just, it hits a little bit different for me, I yeah. think. I mean, the hatred is real. It is there. Like, I mean, you're getting everything from every guy on every play, and that's in every rivalry game. But, like, in this one, I mean, there is no letting off the gas pedal, and that's what that's what I love. And I, I, I love people, you know, just, just giving me their all, and, you know, I love beating them when they do that. Yeah, it was funny because it culminated uh, in, in, in at the Heisman deal in Desmond. <laughs> That's right. That's Desmond right. <laughs> threw gas on the fire. I was like, "Holy I shit!" I mean, do you do you and that quarterback talk, and you guys are cool, or like you know, like it, after your time at Michigan is up, and you've you've beaten Ohio State, can you then bullshit and grab a drink with that guy after the ceremony? Yeah, weirdly enough, we actually got along very well at that ceremony, <laughs> and um, I, you think there'd be a little more animosity, a little more you know, whatever you want to call it. But yeah. um, we we're, were actually getting along talking about the game. He was telling me how, how loud our stadium was. Like, even though people told him that it wasn't, it was just these little funny, funny little snippets, but we we're actually getting along. So, um, you know, maybe, maybe in a couple more years, we'll be, we'll be laughing about it. So last question, because you're getting ready to, to dive into this college playoff thing. You got Georgia, the first round, incredibly physical football team. You guys seem pretty damn physical yourselves. Like what are your yep. impressions of how this game goes down? This is like heavyweight boxing, you know, I mean, this is just, our offenses are very similar. Defenses are very similar. You know, we play very similar games. Yeah. Uh, we both play complimentary football, but both offenses like rely on the run. You know, we're not extremely heavy passing offenses. And so, um, I mean, it, it's, it's going to be, it's going to be a grudge match, I think. And um, we're going to be getting after it. And if, if we want to win, we're going to have to stop that run. And if they're going to, if they want to win, they're going to have to stop our run game. So it's going to be a, it's going to be an exciting game to watch and extremely physical. Listen to the full podcast on Spotify, Apple podcasts, and other podcast streaming platforms, uh, wherever you want to get the podcast, you can get the podcast. Pretty simple. New episodes every Monday, Wednesday, and Friday. Don't forget to like and subscribe for more content. Podcasts get pretty wild. This is real tame.